So what we got here is my Captra LED driver circuit, or what I also like to call a unconventional LED driver circuit. And what I mean is that's a um, red LED, and that's usually about 3 volts uh, powered on, and I'm using about 17 volts. Two double, I mean two uh, 9 volt batteries put in series. And the reason for that is because the Captra loves voltage. It just loves that voltage. And uh, if you don't know what a cap tread is, it's something I um, accidentally uh, stumbled upon. It's a regular capacitor, but you're using the top of the capacitor as a part of a lead. So how it works is that the um, negative of the I mean, the negative of the battery goes to the very top of the capacitor. Now you can see I uh, skinned the part of the capacitor off. So I can make a good connection with the metal uh, housing that's uh, uh, made up of the capacitor. And we go from there to the positive of the battery going to the positive of the uh, capacitor. And the positive of the LED goes to the positive of the capacitor and the negative of the LED goes to the negative of the capacitor. And you get light. Pretty amazing. Your uh, textbooks would say this, well actually would not even make mention of this. It's uh, unconventional. Just thought I'd let you guys know, it kind of acts like a step down transformer. That's a uh, 1 microfarad capacitor at 50 volts. It's a very simple LED driver circuit. It's a very simple modification. All you gotta do is skin the outer layer of the capacitor off. It will work with one 9 volt battery. I just gives off better light with two. Well, there it is. That's the heart of it. And it's running that red LED. So, um, it actually runs for quite a good bit of time. Now I've gotten some strange findings out of it. I got one that's been running for a week now. And instead of the voltage going down, it goes up. But it's kind of weird because it's a dead 9 volt battery. At least my multimeter said it was dead. It was actually the battery out of the multimeter. Multimeter said it was flashing battery telling me it was dead. And then the LED is still going. Uh, it's kind of, I got it over here. It's it's one of those dull LEDs. You can't really see that it's running, but it's actually lit. And there's the battery. It's these cheapo batteries. But it's been running. Maybe there's a cat trip part of it. running for a week now and that voltage on that battery keeps going up but the voltage on this battery just goes down like normal and I think it might be hitting a sweet spot because the LED will get dimmer over time but it won't completely go out I think it hits a sweet spot where it just stay there stuck and the only reason why I'm hoping that is because when you hook a capacitor directly up to a battery the capacitor will fill up and once it's full will become an open circuit which means uh, the power shuts off and the battery doesn't get drained anymore and I'm thinking what's happening is these LEDs are getting to that sweet spot where it still can run but not drain any more power because you can see the capacitor is not directly hooked up to the battery it's connected to the cap trap part of the capacitor so just unique finding really simple to build and a fun little experiment